As our world becomes more connected, we see Twitter slip-ups or flubbed ads make a big splash as soon as they're made public. So how can companies stay ahead of the curve? Qualtrics is the leading global supplier of enterprise data collection and analysis. They provide a platform that gives users real-time insight through surveys. Some of their clients include FedEx, Hewlett-Packard, JetBlue, and PepsiCo. Ryan Smith is the CEO of Qualtrics, and he joins us this morning from San Francisco with a pretty fascinating story. Ryan, good morning to you. Hey, thanks for having me on. I mean, having just read some of the accounts of the, of the way you started the business and the speed at which you've grown for the past five years, can you just give people a sense of how much your life has changed? Yeah, I mean, I think we've been in this for a while. I mean, we started in a basement, you know, almost 10 years ago, and we bootstrapped our organization from, from the ground up with no outside funding. So uh, we've, been, we've been going pedal to the metal for some time now. You had the original intent was to sort of fix the outsourced research market, uh, and there's sort of a personal story behind that. Can you tell some people? Yeah, uh, organizations historically, when they need to collect data or gather insights, have outsourced this. It's a thirty billion dollar plus industry, and that's not counting uh, the the kind of new up and coming uh, employees within the organizations that need to need to collect data. And our goal is basically to explain to individuals and to show them through our technology platform that it's not that hard to gather insights. It's 2013, and we're watching our customers who are doing this become much more data driven. And it's personal. It's something that, that we believe in and we believe passionately about. Uh, you got some Series A from Sequoia and Excel, uh, names that anybody in VC knows well. Uh, and now there's this offer for, for $500 million that you turned down. Tell, walk me through that story. What happened? Yeah, I, I, I think any time that you build a company with a long-term vision you're in a company to keep, you're going to have individuals that that want to be a part of that and uh... you know we, we've had multiple offers and i think we're going to continue to have those uh... you know a five hundred million dollar offer was put in front of us and i think they'll i really believe they'll continue to come but we've chosen to to do this ourselves we've gone with Exo sequoia and excel they're two great firms uh... when we looked at it we said we'll take on investment if one and one can equal five and i think we've chosen two of the best and we're definitely not disappointed with our decision and the bottom line is billion dollar opportunities are rare and, and we're sitting on one. Uh, I don't need to remind you of some of the lessons some have taken from a Groupon and a, an offer that they re rejected from Google and probably uh, and probably are sorry about now. Does any of that weigh on you when, when entrepreneurs who are watching this segment right now saying you're a fool? Uh, does that give you any second thoughts? Uh, not at all. I mean, I, I started in a basement. I was there for five years without taking <laughs> pay, taking investment. Um, you know, and we're, we're focused on the enterprise. I mean, we have 5,000 customers globally. We, we started in academia with 1,300 universities, and I feel like we're just getting started. Our, our corporations that have licensed Qualtrics are doing twice as much data collections and gathering insights than they did last year. So the volumes increase, so we're definitely seeing that it's working and the organizations that are become data-driven um, are winning. And ultimately, we're helping them be right. Yeah, that's what's called vision uh, and, and certainly focus, and you've got to keep it no matter how many distractions are thrown your way. Please come back, Ryan. It's great talking to you. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Uh, Ryan Smith is the CEO of Qualtrics. Uh, the S&P...